Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with the Green Machine. That is what I'm going to call this thing for right now, the Big Green Machine. Uh, essentially what we did last time is we allowed this thing to work without actually exploding, which is nice. Uh, I added some dials in here, we can't really see what's going on because I don't have a torch. Um, but yeah, that is what we did. Uh, we also actually painted it green, uh, and I think it looks pretty good. What I'm going to do uh, next is actually try and design something on the side of here, make this area look a little bit nicer, and we're also going to add some, like, I, I don't know how to explain what I'm going to add, but essentially some um, uh, bits of darker green in between these, um, which should hopefully look pretty good. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Alright, so the first thing that I want to do then is those green strips. I'm not entirely sure what color green we need to do, uh, but if we grab this green and we make it slightly darker, uh, then we might be able to go with that. Yes! Okay. So, uh, if we do it so that we'd start on this piece, I don't want them to be, like, really, really big, uh, but we're gonna go across a few. There you go. And that's fine. And then we'll do the same thing right here. How many have we went across, actually? So get rid of that one. This is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we've went across five, we'll do the same, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll do that all the way along, and hopefully, um, it'll look pretty good in the end. So, I'm gonna quickly do this, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, they're not actually as subtle as I wanted them to be, but if we spawn it in, I'll show you guys what it actually looks like, and there we go. Unfortunately, I haven't actually went all the way around just yet, so we still have to do the bottom side as well, and hopefully from there, we can make it look pretty good. So, we're gonna have to go to this, go to that, and change this guy into this as well. And hopefully, once we've done this, uh, everything will be good. Uh, we gotta do it all the way down. There we go. We gotta do it right here as well. There we go. And then we gotta paint all of this side as well. Uh, and then we might change the green after this uh, to something else. Uh, I might make it a little bit lighter. But anyway, spawn it in as it is currently. Yeah, that's a little bit patchy. It's too patchy. We need it to look very, very similar. So, grab this color again, change it very slightly, there we go, and then paint it again. So, replace this color with this color, spawn it in again, let's see what that looks like. I don't know. I don't. I feel like I need to do that, but I feel like that looks weird. I'm unsure. Okay, so I, I guess for now we're going to actually leave that like that. That is A-OK. -okay. We're also going to go ahead and change all of these colors to match that as well, because clearly we need to. Otherwise, they're going to be like different colors, and that's not good. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna do this all the way down, and that is fantastic. Okay, so, the next thing we're gonna do is not actually gonna be this bit. We're gonna try and make it so that it won't explode. Uh, I also actually wanna paint this piece in as well, so if we can grab the right color and we can paint that like that, that doesn't look too bad. Good. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do then is design or try and figure out how to make the pressure go down uh, a little bit better. So, um, a few of you guys have suggested maybe adding some more... Uh, steam outlets because at the minute our steam actually gets outlet uh, Before it goes into the pistons. We're also gonna have it get um, pumped out after as well So if we can we're gonna go ahead and pump it out behind the wheels uh, One two three. I guess three might be enough on both sides, but will that actually do loads? There we go uh, We can't actually get to that. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. One two three. Oh Hang on three four five. Okay. There we go. Uh, if we can get ourselves a port here we go. This is going to be kind of interesting to see whether this will actually allow it to work or not. But one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. And then essentially what we need to do is go from this pipe downwards. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we essentially just need it to come down and attach onto each of those. Um, I think. <laughs> actually, I'm going to undo that a little bit because what I want to do is put a pump in here and then have them come out somewhere else. So one, two... Uh, three, four, and five. There we go. Put these guys in. One, two, three, four, and five. There you go. So we've got ten. Um, and then we need to figure it out from there. So if we have a pump that actually pumps it out of the vehicle, I think that makes sense. So let's grab a pump. Uh, grab the huge pump. Here we go. And we'll just need one, I think. So we're going to go ahead and shove it in right here. Like this. Uh, and we need it the other way around. So that's going to go there like that. And hopefully this will work. I'm assuming it will. I, I genuinely don't know, though. So, if we can, attach this guy to there. There we go. Delete this guy. Have it come down and go in. And then once we've done that, everything should be good. Right, there we go. So, pipes. Yes. Okay. Attach that directly onto there. 
This pump will then attach everything to here. So we'll do this. Sort of, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Down to the end. Uh, we'll get one of these and have it go into there. There we go. And then we need to figure out this guy as well, uh, just to make sure it actually works. So, um, how do we do this? One of these. Yes, good. Smack that on there like that. We're then going to have it go into here, but using one of these guys, like this. And then we need a straight pipe in the middle, just like so. There, okay, right, that's all fine. Um, with that being said, what I'm going to do is actually delete this guy. And add a filter? No, a, um, what's the word? What is the word? A valve. We're going to add a, a valve to this. So, there we go. Okay, hopefully this is in, uh, and that's out on the other side. It is. All right, cool. So we delete this guy. Actually, no, we don't. We probably don't. We delete this guy. There we go. And we attach the pipes to there, and hopefully this will work out. I'm sure it will, but I don't actually know. So there you go. Put that there, and attach this guy to each of those with one of these. There we go. Okay, so essentially what this does uh, is this is going to open as soon as the threshold of the boiler reaches 9. Uh, and hopefully that will release a lot of the steam really quickly. I don't know whether that's going to work or not. I'm not sure. Or should this be on the line of this instead? I could have done it on the wrong line. I'm not sure. Alright, we're going through it again. We are going through it again. So if the value to be compared to is 9, here we go. So put a constant number in, that's going to be 9. Uh, is higher, or this is higher than that, then this valve will open, and this pump will turn on. Okay, hopefully that works out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sit inside, we're going to turn on the boiler, we're going to let the pressure build up, and we're going to see if um, that will release the pressure uh, quickly enough. I'm not sure it will, but we'll see. Okay, so I tried to just move it a little bit outside of the building, and unfortunately, uh, even though I've throttled down, we are still moving. Um, the pressure is still building, though, so this is good. As soon as this reaches 8, the pressure valves at the front will open up, so we should start seeing that any second. There we go. The ones at the front have opened. Uh, the ones at the rear are actually behind this wheel, I think. So if this starts to creep up above 8, uh, closer to 9, then that's how we'll work it. Anyway, we're going to move forwards in order to create the pressure that we need. Well, it's not quite how it works, but there you go. Uh, and then we'll lower this down. And we'll see what happens. Because the pressure will not be being used by the wheels. So, yeah. I might have to wait a little while for this to actually happen. Um, I think what we actually should do is regulate the temperature of the boiler instead. But I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that. Oh, here we go. So it is creeping up from 8 now, which is awesome. That is exactly what we wanted to test. And then as soon as it hits 9, the other valves should actually open up. So 3, 2, 1, there we go. And the other valves have opened up. As you guys can see, there is a hell of a lot more steam. And, oh, it's still actually creeping up even then. Oh, yikes. It's still going to explode. Watch out. Hey. Okay, so we won't worry about that just yet. Uh, because reasons. <laughs> because reasons. Um, I think what we'll actually do is try and figure out how to make this section look a little bit nicer. So we've already got the bar that goes across, which is pretty nice. I think that's fine. Um, I don't know what it'll look like if we attach something like this, uh, randomly within. There you go. Uh, and maybe do that on both sides, actually. So delete one of these randomly. Uh, splat that directly in there. And let's see what that looks like. Does it actually attach on? Not quite. Oh, it's the same as everything else anyway. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Delete that one, put that back. Okay. Um, I'm unsure what to do next. Okay, I've got an idea uh, on how to make things look a little bit nicer. We're going to go ahead and actually jug this piece this color. There we go. Uh, and we're going to try and make a bunch of other things this color as well uh, to try and make it slightly nicer uh, to actually be around. So we're going to go ahead and do that like that. That actually looks pretty good. Um, that all looks okay in there. We've also got this color inside of here. That's fantastic. I think the walls inside of here as well should probably be gray because uh, at the minute they're white. And that's a little bit strange for a Steam Loco. But there we go. And yeah, that's all actually A-OK. -okay. Paint that in like so. Let's spawn that in see what we think of it. Yeah, OK. The, uh, the, the lighter gray on the side, a very nice touch. I like it. All right, I think we're going to delete this and we're going to have that, that gold line actually continue around the side. So if we can, let's go ahead and grab this from... Ooh, actually, uh, I want it from a part with the normal green. So from here to here, let's go ahead and cut that or copy that. There we go. Move it off to the side just a tiny bit, move it this way, and paste it there. 
There we go. We're going to do it again. And we're also going to do it again right there and leave it like that. So merge this with this, this with this, this with this. And there we go. Um, we're also actually going to go ahead and paint this color this color. There we go. Oh, that side, that color. We're going to do this like so. And that's all good. All right. So now if I grab all of this side from there all the way to here, we can copy it. We can press U. We can take it over to the other side, paste it in, and merge it. Bosh. There we go. What do we think of the gold line continuing around uh, the entire side? I think that's a nice touch. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what we should do is actually limit the amount of water that is actually flowing straight back into the boiler. Now, in order to do that, uh, we need to stop the water in from happening um, too much. So, uh, is there a way to limit how much water is in there is a good question. Um, whether we can triple it, uh, trickle it in or whatever, I'm not sure. Uh, but let's start with 20%. And we need to come up with a way of trickling the water in, I think. Okay, so I don't know how this is going to work. Um, <laughs> I really don't know how this is going to work, actually. But let's go ahead and do this. And we'll grab another one of these. And we'll put it right there like this. Uh, hopefully this is out. I believe it is. There you go. So essentially, the water will only flow from there forwards if... Um, if, 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 if it is less than, da, 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 the amount of water in the boiler is less than, uh, I'm not entirely sure how much, but some, <laughs> uh, is less than, let's grab a number real quick, hang on, there we go, uh, put it on the other side, so connect, the value to be compared to is this one, the value to compare is the, uh, yeah, fluid volume, good, and then that opens this, there we go, okay, so, um, if that value is less than, I don't know how much water is actually in this, in the first place. So, let's go to this one, uh, delete this, and put this here. This is gonna be, uh, boiler, water, level. Level. Boiler, water, level. Okay, right, so, if we connect that down to here, we can actually see how much water is in at 20%. Here we go. So 35. Um, I, I feel like we need to trickle it in uh, very, very slowly. So maybe even less than that. So if there is less than 10%, uh, which is what? 17 point whatever? 5? Yeah? Okay, 17.5. I think it needs to be even less than that. Let's go with 5. All right, 5% is what we're going to do. All right, spawn that in. Let's see what number that is because I can't be bothered working it out. It's just half of what it was previously, but you know, 8.75. Okay, so if we go to this number, we make it 8.75, and we do the whole process again, is this going to work? Who knows? Okay, here we go. So it is less than the amount that we needed, uh, and unfortunately, the water isn't actually flowing straight back in, and I don't know why, but the pressure has reached 8, and the pressure valves at the front are working. Uh, I guess as soon as this reaches 0, it'll start pumping more in, but that is not what we wanted. So it should start filling back up any second now. No? Okay, the boiler is at zero. Interestingly enough. And there is no more water actually... Oh, wait. If that value is on... Okay, my bad. <laughs> this is the wrong way around. Okay, so I've also actually added a pump to allow it to then send, uh, send the fluid through. I, I think this makes sense. We have infinite electricity on anyway, so it is actually working out the right way. Um, but the water definitely wasn't getting pumped in, was it? It, it like, it definitely wasn't, because as soon as the boiler pressure actually starts rising, the water level does drop below 8.75. Um, did I put 8.75 in, or did I put 875 for whatever reason? Uh, 8.75. I think this works, right? Am I just being silly? I'm probably just being silly, but let's try this again. All right, go. Let's see what happens. Okay, so if we look at the dials, uh, this one is reaching 100, so the water value should go... Oh, it's actually gone up because the... Oh, I guess the steam turned into... Um, oh, the water turned into steam very quickly at that point. Okay, but the pressure is building. This is going to go back down because the valve is closed. And then as soon as it's down to 8.74, it should open up again, which it just did. Okay, so now if we... Move. Okay, and then we turn it down again. I mean, this thing really rockets. It is actually quite a quick vehicle. Uh, or quite a quick locomotive, but yeah. So we're moving down the track. 
and that's fine. Okay, we are at eight, so the steam valve on the front is open. That's good. And if we continue a little bit more, we'll try and build up the, the steam a little bit more. Um, I feel like there just needs to be a limit on how hot this can get. You know? I feel like that is that is something that we should do. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and lower this down. The pressure should start building again. Above 8.3. Hopefully. Is it going to work? It's actually going like straight back down. I feel like the water level thing that we've got going on here might be good. Oh, look. Oh no, that is only the, that is only the one valve still. That's fine. Okay, the pressure is staying around the same. Temperature is still rising, but that's okay. All right, guys, it's sort of working. Uh oh, now it's creeping up. Now it is actually creeping up. Okay, so um, maybe we need it to be less than that. Okay, because that does actually increase it past five percent. Uh, it makes it more like seven or eight, uh, which is interesting. Um, but okay, as soon as this gets to 9, the extra steam valves should open. I can't tell whether they actually have. I don't know if they have, and I... Something in my brain is telling me they haven't. Uh, and we are going to explode again. We are going to explode again. Yikes. Yikes, big yikes. Okay, so we're actually going to bleed it off beforehand because I don't feel like it makes sense to bleed any of the steam off here. We need the steam to come straight out the boiler and get pumped straight outside. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and just delete this guy. Oh, no. The, the, this guy. There we go. Good. We're going to delete this guy also. Uh, and we're going to get some pipes, put them on here, and hopefully this will work out. It doesn't make sense uh, to do what I did before because why would you release pressure before the boiler rather than after the boiler? So we're going to go ahead and do this, and hopefully that makes some sort of sense. So this pump's going to go on, uh, which is back here, but that's fine. Okie dokie, that's a different pump anyway. So this pump needs to go on, and this valve needs to open, and uh, that should be good, I think. We need to know if it's working, though. I, I don't know whether it is. <laughs> I genuinely don't know whether it is. But let's go ahead and do it one more time, and we'll see what happens, and then we'll go from there. If we need to, uh, we'll do it in a different video. But, um, yeah. Anyway, after this one, we might end up building a tender because I think that would be really cool. I might switch out these wheels down below as well because um, you guys asked for it. Um, but, yeah. Let me know in the comments down below, actually, whether you like the, uh, the wheels at the front and the back or whether you don't like them. Let me know. Okay, so we started moving. This is fine. We're going to get our pressure built up again as well. So I've, uh, I've turned the throttle down. That's fine. Uh, and hopefully this will actually work out. Whether it does or whether it doesn't, I'm unsure. <laughs> but we'll see. So, pressure is at 8. That means the front valve has opened. It is actually open, and that is great. Uh, we now got to wait for this temperature to build up uh, to see if it actually works or whether it doesn't work. All right, so I've slowed down the locomotive to see whether the steam will actually pour out of the sides wherever it is. Actually, I don't, <laughs> I don't actually see where it should be pumping out. I don't know how far back I've put them. In fact, if I put them... Where are they? Oh, they're up there. There we go. So that's where the steam will come out. Okay, good. So if I jump back in really quickly, there we go. We can see that our temperature is rising. That's fine. The boiler pressure has gone up. Okay, the water temperature is... Oh, the water level is, is staying pretty similar. That's good. And yes, our boiler pressure is rising. So as soon as this hits 9, we'll see if this works. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. Right, we're at 9. And that is keeping it somewhat okay. Yeah, because the pressure is getting out of the boiler really quickly, and that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and do this to try and distract it a little bit. There we go. Boiler pressure should drop because we're using it. And then if we do this, the boiler pressure should rise again. And the system that we've put in place should work, and it does. Okay, fantastic. There we go. Guys, we've done it. We've actually done it. It's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do lastly then is actually change the color from green to red, and uh, we'll go from there. And there we go. It is in red now, which is pretty awesome. So I think we're going to go ahead and leave this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am, and in the next one, we'll probably end up building the tender because it needs one. So yeah, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.